hi hopefully all of you are doing good now in this video we will talk about the new feature introduced in for each command in splunk 9 now if you are following my videos so we already discussed about this for each command in one of my videos right probably i will i will give that video link over here as well so that you can you can refer now in this video we will talk about so in in most recent splunk version splunk 9 so this command they have enhanced it a bit and it was a good feature they have added it as well uh, so that th this particular command is more useful so we will talk about that that in this particular video okay now if you remember like the for each command is basically used to loop through certain fields right so you can give some wild carded field list right and you can basically do some kind of self search or you can let's say like for an example like uh, let, let's take this one so if i just have this so if i just run this one so what it is happening is if you see it like i have defined two fields right my field one and my field two these two fields the value of my field one is five and the value of my field two is ten so i have taken this example from the splunk documentation itself right now let's say if we want to do some certain kind of calculations based on by like by looping through all these fields okay so we generally use for each commands for that purpose right so in that command input you can give some wild carded field names so if you see it like we have given something like my field underscore that means underscore then star right so this will basically match this field as well as this field so basically it's, it will loop through these two fields and it will basically perform this eval here right and while discussing that for each we also discussed about this field this match string as well right the field means like which particular field it it is matched right so if it is my field one the value of this field will be my field one the value of this my field one which is nothing but the five over here right so that is what it has created as well as you can see it like it has created a new field called my field underscore one within single quote right so that means whenever it is looping through this my field one and my field two it has it has to create two fields my field underscore one and my field underscore two with this calculation right here again we are basically taking the value of the my field right which is nothing but five in this case so we are basically adding the match string so match string means whatever regular expression you have given it over here the portion it is matching is called the match string right so for my field one it is one and my field two it is two right so that is what that it has performed it has added one with five and two with ten over here right so this is how the for each command works over here and if you just go through the documentation like instead of instead of this field if you want to use any other string which will act similar way so you can use this input right field string so we have discussed this before so let me show you an example like field string so let's say field string equals to i'll if i just give uh, my field okay or let's say seed so what will happen so now you should be using this one right so we just rename that field with something else over here right so if you run this one it should behave in the similar way similarly if you want to change this match string and other stuff so they have like we have corresponding inputs as well here right and apart from match string we also discussed about like the first occurrence the second and third like this one right so match segment basically so that probably if you are if you refer this particular video so that the video i i have created before so that will be automatic you, you will you should be getting the idea from that video itself okay now in this video let's talk about the changes happened in the for each command now now the new change according to the new change so there is a new input called mode so basically instead of like uh, apart from the multi fields you can also run this particular command for multi-value field as well as json array 
as well okay so this is a very good change so there was very little way you you, you can loop through the multi value field values so now we have a way to loop through it and do some kind of calculations there right so so whenever you want to loop through the multi value field or and json array elements you can use this mode as multi value or json array for the for each command okay so that's that's one of the big changes happened let let's take an example here okay so let's say i will just work with make results only so that we can create our own fields as is okay so let's say we are creating a new field called mv field okay and if i e l d and let's say we are creating a new mv field okay there are there are a lot of ways like either you can either you can use something like split right split a particular string let's say 5 comma 15 and if we just do that one we need to give the separator over here right so if we just do that one it should create a multi value field over here or there are a lot of mv related commands like mv append or something through which you can create a multi value field over here right so we have a mv field so let's say we want to count this thing count the number of values we have in our mv field as well as we want to take the total okay so let's initialize the total with zero and count with zero as well over here okay so that is what we wanted to now now basically the total field should be 20 and count field should be 2 over here right so what we'll do we will use for each mode equals to we have to use if i just go back to the documentation we have to use the multi value over here right so mode will be using the multi value and which field we want to loop through so you, sorry it is the field name the multi value field name now over here you have to remember like you can only give a single multi value field name here okay you cannot give like wild carded multi value field here just like we have seen the previous example okay so this is the one restriction you have to remember so you at any certain point of time you will be able to loop through a single multi value field over here okay so now for each so what we are going to perform we are going to perform an eval right so if i just say eval total is equals to total so this is the reason we have initialized total as zero because we have to loop we are looping through it right just like a for loop we we take the sum right so that is what we are doing it over here so total plus the value of each and every item over here right so as we are looping through this multi value field so this f i e l d so if i just go back to the documentation so these are the values like which which we have which we have seen it before as well when we were looping through the wild carded field names right so this field will hold the value over here right so let us let us use that over here as well so basically with the total we are just adding the field values that means 5 plus 15 over here so if we just run this one okay so one mistake i did it over here is for multi value field the new thing is the item okay so that you have to remember whenever we are looping through the multi value field it's not the field we have this this angle brackets field we have to use we have to use this item over here okay so that's the mistake i did for for both multi value field and json over here so this should give me the total over here as well right and anyway we can use the count we can take the count as count plus one over here right if you see it like count easily you can calculate so we are just looping through the multi value field and then we are just taking it right so now similar thing happen whenever you will be using the json array so instead of this one so let's let's do one thing let's use comment here okay so that we can see so we will comment this particular line and instead of taking the split 
so what we will do is json underscore array we have discussed this particular function before as well right so probably i will give that video link over here as well so let's say 5 comma 15 so these two are the part of the json array right so if i just show you till this point so this is my json array again i want to take the total and the count right so i will do the similar stuff right again okay instead of multi value it should be a json array over here so that is the difference it will be having it i think rest of the stuff should work fine okay so this is how you are basically looping through json array as well as the multi-value field the mode will be changing if you see it over here right the rest of the code can be same over here like if for the similar use cases right but you have to make sure you are using the angle brackets item over here okay and and if i just go back to the previous example where we are basically looping through the multi-value fields right so as as i have i have shown right for mv field also we can we can just do the similar stuff but we have to do it with the mode equals to multi-value here right now let's say if we have if we have more than one field okay something like this one here mv field one okay and mv field so let's say mv star mv star here okay I, I have purposefully given a star over here in the field name so that we can we can show like for multi-value field if you are using like let's say mv star ideally it should it should match all these three fields over here right but it will only match this particular field because it it, it you cannot give a wild wild carded field name over here so to distinguish this i'll just give 15 over here okay so if i just run this one if you see it over here like even though i have mv field mv field one the total is basically calculated from this mv star this particular field only right because it is exactly matching with the field name i have given it over here so similar stuff for json array as well okay so you can at a at a single point of time you can basically loop through a single json array over there okay so these are the new features introduced in for each command in splunk 9 and these are very interesting and very useful features as well so i thought i'll just share with you as well okay so hopefully this video was helpful see you in the next video